Do you have a plan to increase security in places like that? The district has up-to-date and well-tested emergency response plans. This program was produced by Lenape District Television. Hello and welcome to Lenape High School for this exciting boys basketball rivalry between the Cherokee Chiefs and the Lenape Indians. My name is Ethan Hardney, and this is Scott Gloucester. Hi, Ethan. What do you expect from today's game, Scott? Expect a real tough game tonight. You don't know what to expect, really. Lenape's only played one game. Big win over Woodrow Wilson. Don't know what to expect, don't know what that means. Cherokee, on the other hand, one and one, opening victory, but a real demoralizing defeat just a couple nights ago. We'll see how the Chiefs bounce back. We'll see what the Indians bring. It's gonna be a great game on LDTV tonight. Great, thanks, Scott. We'll be right back after these messages. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah. For care that's extraordinary, demand Deborah.org. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888 313 IDEA or ComegnoLaw.com. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market. All the best all right here 215-336-3003 or on the web at www.pwpm.net and by heads up eyes forward please never drive distracted www.lrhsd.org slash heads up for information on how your business can become a sponsor of ldtv sports Contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. Yeah, going over the starting lineups now for both teams. And as I said, Ethan, uh, we'll see what Lenape has. They're one game. Uh, Woodrow Wilson, a 20-25-point 20, point win, almost 30 points. Uh, Cherokee looked good in their opener, but had trouble the other night. It is now time for the Axa Equitable Silo Report, providing millions of customers with life, with life insurance, annuities, and other need-based products since 1859. Axa Equitable Be Life Confident, 732-452-7275. And now let's send it over to Alex Chukatowski with the report. Hey guys, so I got to talk to both coaches before the game. On Cherokee's wish list is growth and improvement each and every game. This rivalry, like all of every game, is going to come down to the wire. Cherokee's Damian Smith is currently out right now with a broken leg, and his return is unknown. Meanwhile, Cherokee lost a lot of their starting lineup this season. They expect plenty of kids to come in and grow into their vacancies. Defense will definitely be a deciding factor tonight. Last time Cherokee came to Lampy, they left with a very, very, very close victory. War Lampy knows it's going to be a war. It should be a good one. Back to you guys.
pep band with our national anthem. Always a nice addition here to a home game here at Lenape High School. The Lenape pep band bringing enthusiasm and trying to rally the fans, if you will, of the Lenape Indians, who always have a very vocal student section. Even. They do, they do. They get very into every game. It is now time for the Axa Equal Keys to the game, providing millions of customers with life insurance, annuities, and other need-based products since 1859. Axa Equal will be life confident, 732-452-7275. And for Cherokee, we have execution on offense. Yeah, they've got to execute the ball, no turnovers, make the good pass, find the open man, make the shots. For Lenape, it's defense. Right up in your face defense, but don't cross that line, get into foul trouble. And for both teams, it is turnovers. As we do with every game, the team that turns the ball over is giving the opposition many more chances to score. To so we're balls. ready, and uh, with our play-by-play, -play, here's Ethan. Thanks, Scott. Let if he wins the tip. Max Ingersoll bringing the ball up. And we are underway. She's opposed to senior Andrew Sims. Andrew with the hook shot. Solid defense there by number 35, Tymere Bennett made a difficult shot for Andrew. Yeah, we have a really big matchup between Tyre Bennett and Andrew Sims, both big body, big big guys who could really get it into the post, bring it offensively and defensively. Kick out. Jump shot. Off. Good hustle rebound by Jake Topolsky. Yeah, Topolsky beat Ludwikowski to the ball there. Passes up to Andrew Sims. The thing about Andrew Sims is he's not just a low post player. He can take the three ball and knock it down. He can. That which, is the other part to his game. Which could pull Tymere away from the basket and open up some backdoor cuts and that kind of stuff for the Indians. Yes. Steve Madlock with the ball. Passes to Alex Matthews. Back to Ingersoll. Back to the Polsky. Hand off to Ingersoll. Trying to get some rolling here. Polsky on the attack, kick out, back to Sims. Going to be a block on Tymere Bennett. That'll be two free throws for Andrew Sims. Now they called it before the shot, but you were right, it would have been if he was in shooting position. But he got him before he actually went up into the motion, so it's on the floor. Drive by Steve Matlack. Nice. Drive by Steve. Very nice ball fake there, and a good drive. Used his body well to protect it, too. He's very well bringing out defenders because he can shoot very, very well, and that's usually his first instinct to do, but when he hit the pump fake, they typically go for it to try and bring good defense. Rolled in by Tymere Bennett. Here's Ingersoll bringing it up. Polsky trying a three, got it. Can't leave him open like that, he'll take it all day, and he's a good shooter. Very high percentage three-point shooter. Got to get a hand up or something in his face. Yep. Make him a little uncomfortable. Strong rebound by Sims, taking it away from Bennett. Sims with a pump fake, as you can see, bringing it. He thought about it. Yep, he did. It was just a little bit too far outside the three-point line. There it is. Couldn't get a it that great time. great rebound. Great rebound and put back by Matlack. Might have been off with a 7-2 to two lead during the first couple minutes of the game. That's what happened to Cherokee the other night. They fell behind big early. Another layup, you want to go down, Cherokee. Chiefs start out a little cold on the offensive end. Yeah, shots just not going in. Almost a carry there. Yeah, very, very close. Ah, Good D by pass Bennett. There. Good D by Bennett. But... Good drive, but couldn't finish by Jordan Hayes. And at the other end, Sims does finish. And, and I think you're going to see Coach Lenape. Cassidy take a timeout. But they go up to a 9-2 lead. Is Not the start the Chiefs wanted. 
a little cold on the offensive end and haven't been able to stop Lenape on the defensive end. So. Yeah. Yeah, and shots just aren't following, unfortunately, like, for Cherokee. Coach Cassidy takes a 30-second timeout to talk things over. You know, you get behind early, and it really, you know, you spend the whole game playing catch-up, and you exert so much energy trying to get back into the game. So, important possession here coming out of the timeout for the Chiefs. I definitely agree with on that. Cherokee comes out with a timeout with some subs. Number 14, Richard Liard in the game. Early three, got it. Sophomore Gavin Gibson got it down and now. That's a huge bucket coming out of that timeout. That is. Alex Matthews with the ball. Want to be showing good movement without the ball, but also good patience. Yeah, you never want to stand around. around. Makes it much easier for your defender. Drive by Topolsky, pass to Sims. Malek for three. Oh, in and, and out. out. Had a good look at it. Richard could get that one down. Yeah, Laird had a good look there too. Pretty open jumper. Pulled a good move, too. Got the Polsky away from him. Ingersoll got trapped in under the basket, made a nice heady play by bouncing it off the leg of the Cherokee player. That's a smart play. You never want to get a trap down low and end up forcing a turnover now. Not if he's able to keep it. Pass it out to the Polsky. Back to Ingersoll. Nice good play day. by Kamir, but he's out of bounds. Good read on the pass. Nice job on deflecting the entry pass away. Very good to anticipate it. Tymir couldn't get there before the ball went out of bounds, though. Both Tymir Bennett and Andrew Sims are going to have to work on the offensive and defensive oh, yeah. ends here tonight. Especially in battle of the rebounds. They're about the same height, same belt. Polsky looking to make some travel. <laughs> Billy Bruno checked into the game for Alex Matthews for Lenape. Check, he's still down by four points. Hoping to get something to go after they hit the quick three earlier. Feeds to Bennett, turn around, up high. But Real good defense by Sims and not to draw the foul. Just stayed straight up there, went mm -hmm. on straight up with the arms. No body, so no foul, no foul call. I think Tymere Bennett and I think Coach Cassidy was looking for a call there too. Ooh, almost to another. Sims. Bennett jumped the pass again, but just deflected off from two Sims. There's another attempt to jump the pass. Good easy layup by Sims. That's the problem. If you jump that pass, entry pass, and you don't get it, it gives Sims an uncontested little drive to the basket. Yep, and you can see how easy it was for him after you know, they were just split second too slow to get it. Bennett with the jump shot. Sweet. On the perimeter for Malak, back to Ingersoll. Don't know if we mentioned, but number 34, Billy Bruno, has checked in for the Indians. Don't know if you mentioned that or not, Ethan. If you did and I missed it, I have to pay more attention. Good beat by Cherokee so far. No rush here. Oh, great offensive, Good offensive rebound, rebound by Topolsky. He goes up but can't get it to go. Look, I can sort of force that one. Maybe, maybe some contact, no call by the referees. Another quick three. Couldn't get that one in. Good hustle by Ludwikowski to get the offensive rebound, but then it's knocked away. 
quick pace game here. Only one foul. That was a two, his toe was on the line for Kapolsky, but he couldn't get that to go. Neither team actually uh, shooting the lights out here early. Either. No, no, not at all. And both teams know this is a big game. This is oh, yeah. obviously a Lenape district game, but this is a division game. You know, the other night when Cherokee played Shawnee, they're not in the same, they're in the same conference, but not the same division. But here, these guys are both in the American division, so this is a big one. Gives the winning team here tonight a one-game advantage, and the, you know, in the opening week or so of the season, Cherokee very content to hold for one here to try to cut it, and we've got a foul against Lenape. It's going to be uh, on the floor, so it won't be a shooting foul. And I believe it was on Ingersoll. It was his first personal, first team foul for the Indians. So second of the game, Justin Luke, now Alex Matthews back in. 9.2 seconds, nine seconds remaining in the first quarter. Lidwikowski breaks Quick behind three. the screen, can't get it to go. Indians try. Sims, oh, just a little long at the buzzer. That ends the first quarter. Lenape 11, Cherokee 7. About what we expected. Uh, you know, close game. I think both teams would like to shoot the ball better. They've had some good looks in the first quarter, but neither team uh, is knocking down the, the open jumpers when they have them. So that's one thing coaches would like to see change. We definitely agree with that. As we look into the huddle of the Lenape Indians, Coach Chuck Guitar. There's the wide angle shot of the big L on the gymnasium floor. Cherokee on the right of your screen. Let's take a look at Ivy Rehab Replay, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. This is a quick Good and early three pointer for Cherokee. Nice little the... screen there, and then Gibson knocks down the three. Early out of timeout to was, sort of get the ball rolling. Uh, I think that was Richard Laird who did the nice screen there to get. Gibson free, and he just had enough room, and Lenape fought through the screen, but just a little bit slow to get there, and Gibson knocked down the open jumper. So there you see, end of quarter number one here tonight at Lenape, the Lenape Indians leading the Cherokee Chiefs 11 to seven. Cherokee will start with possession to start quarter number two. Lenape playing good D, obviously able to hold Cherokee in only seven points in the first quarter. And see as we start quarter number two, number time here, Bennett is not on the floor for the Chiefs at this time. They go to a little smaller line up here. Number 20, Jordan Hayes. Zach Morgan, number 10 now in the game for the Chiefs. Jump shot by Gibson. Gonna get that one down. And Justin Luke gets the rebound. Men be looking to capitalize on only a four point lead, but they seem to be dominant so far in the first quarter. Jordan Hayes playing good D on Sims. They're looking to get the ball to him, but couldn't get it. Alex Matthews, three, couldn't get it. Sims offensive rebound. Good call travel Travel. on that. It's a good call by the ref. Cherokee bringing the ball up. Quick layup, couldn't get it. Billy Bruno with a good hustle for the rebound now. I wonder if he run it up. He feeds it to Andrew Sims. Andrew Sims with a nice hook. Easy for Sims and he's got the real height advantage on Jordan Hayes. Not that really Jordan could do there, just contest as best as he could. Quick three, couldn't get that. It'll be Lenape ball. Time your Bennett checks back in. And 
I'll be looking at guard Sims. Good, light, good drive by Sims. Now eight points for Sims and the Chiefs up, or, or the Indians up by eight, the biggest lead of the game now. Great start for Sims. Long shot by DeCaro, won't go. Billy Bruno with the ball. Beat it to Sims again. Oh, nice move, but can't oh. get it to go. Then it back Cherokee in there and then he ball. loses control. So Andrew Sims probably wishes he had that one back. Definitely clean, easy look, just sometimes you get unlucky. Cherokee looks to do something. Tymere drew the foul, but then couldn't get the layup to go. Nice job of drawing the foul. But, you know, he put the ball on the floor. I would have taken it, and I'm not a center, okay? I played some basketball, but certainly not underneath. But, you know, you got to take that ball and drive it. Don't put it on the floor. That's just my opinion. I would uh, definitely I agree with you. tell him the same thing. Tymere misses the first one. Equally as important, I think you got to make sure you make the basket. You know, he looked oh, a little yeah. more concerned about drawing the foul, which maybe threw his rhythm off a little bit, you know, as you're going up. Um, you know, make the basket. That guarantees you two. If you get the foul, okay. But as it turns out, he only makes one of two. And so instead of what could have been a two-point layup, it turns into a one-point free throw. I'll let if he brings it up. Pass it to Billy Bruno, just take the Polsky, just check back in. Wild attempt. How is that not a foul? Now Cherokee Ooh, looks to like get something. To me. Now we're going to get the foul and the basket. Time here, Bennett. Justin Luke's going to get the block. That's a big turnaround right there. It looked like a lot of people calling for a foul at the other end against Sims, which he didn't get. Sims looked a little frustrated after that, by the way. And then Tymir Bennett draws the charge on Justin Luck and makes the basket. Now adds, looks to add the third point here to the old school, as I like to call it, three-point play. But can't convert. Good double team trap. Coach Guitar calling adamantly for a timeout. Finally got the referee's attention to get it. 32nd variety. Now going back to your point on being a center. I, I do play center sometimes. I play basketball for fun, and that's what I've always been taught. You know, you never you never want to put the ball on the ground because that means anybody can get it. If you keep it if you keep it high above, most likely, if the person you're guarding, the person that's guarding you is the same height, that's the only person that you really have to worry about. Not when you break it down because everybody's that height at that point. And Pretty sure they could tell by the opening that I I wasn't a center and you were. So oh, definitely. But yeah, you're right. It's a great point. And you've probably been coached that way, you know, when you're growing up years and playing basketball, you know, probably played some organized basketball, I would bet. And, you know, that's what they tell the big men. You know, the more you put it on the floor, the more like the more ch chances increase that one of those little gnats running around like me are going to slap the ball away. Let right it be inbounds coach. under their own basket. That looked like a double dribble. Put the ball down to touch the floor. You might have been able to turn it over.
Cherokee looking to make some. So they're currently down by five. Time here missed the first one, but turned garbage into gold and got the rebound off of that one and put it in. Nine of Lennon of Cherokee's 12 are by Ty Mir Bennett. Big game for him so far. Starting off great. You foul, Cherokee. It's gonna be their second team foul. And the foul is gonna be on number 10, Zach Morgan, his first personal. Lenape will inbound the ball. Good hook by Andrew Sims. Lobbed it up there for him, came down with it. Put it right back up. Three by Zach Morgan. Couldn't get that one to go down. Andrew Sims with the ball at the top. Feeds the post to the Polsky. That's too far into the basket. Yeah, I could have got the right angle on that. That's a nice job by Tymir Bennett to keep him so low that he really has no angle at the basket, you know what I mean? Force him to throw it up there. Right, and... right. Jump ball was called eventually. A possession arrow was in favor of the Indians. So they will keep possession. A few ticks over three minutes remaining in the first half. Feet a low to Polsky. Great pass, but... And another jump ball, but this possession error will go with Cherokee. So good hustle there by number three, Matt Ingersoll, to get the tie up. Of course, that'll change the possession error once Cherokee inbounds. So Gibson bringing it up. What a battle down low between. Yeah, they're, Sims and Bennett. They're really getting into it. Uh, Gibson, they're going to need Gibson on the foul. They are. Gavin Gibson, first personal, third team foul against the Chiefs. Now Dustin Luke, who recently checked back in, will bring it up. Feeds it to Sims. Moving it around. Sims bringing it in. Couldn't get that one. I think he's going to get a call there. Tamir Bennett. Second personal foul, 14 foul on the Chiefs. So put Andrew Sims at the line to shoot a pair. First free throws for the Indians tonight. As I said, we haven't had that many fouls. Shooting fouls, at least. A lot of them have just been the pushes and shoves, the shoves and the reach-ins. Makes the first. 18. Gives Sims 11 in the game. More than half of Lenape's points. Couldn't get that one down. Cherokee looks to get some going. Lenape forces a turnover. Oh, that's one on four. That's where I think you got to just pull up and, and wait for your team to join you. I, I'm yeah. not sure what, what, what good could come from that. It's 
clearly shown there, forced a turnover and nothing came out of it. Well, he's one on five. What are the odds that they're not going to? Oh, nice move by Gibson, but can't get another jumper to fall. Cherokee really struggling to yeah, get the ball in the keep, basket. I don't keep field goal percentage, but it, both neither team is certain, setting the world on fire. And good defense is a part of that, though. Yeah, it's one of the keys for Menifee's defense, and they're doing it. Forcing Cherokee to shoot bad shots. Pretty much anybody outside of Bennett hasn't really done much. I mean, we have about a little over a minute. And there, and there oh, ball. wow, great hustle. Gavin Gibson off the air ball, catches it, and makes a nice reverse layup for the Chiefs. Cuts the lead to four. Malik with a three, couldn't get that one. And it'll be Cherokee ball. Billy Bruno checking back in for Justin Luck. Devin Wooding checks in. I think the first time we've seen Devin tonight, if I recall. For Steven Malik. See if Chiefs hold for one with 30 seconds to go. Wouldn't surprise me if they do. Unless something's there that's such a gimme. Yeah. They're spreading the floor. That's not what I expected. No, not at all. Not the best shot you could take. And there's going to be a foul at the other end on Dakara. Jake Topolsky will go to the line. Shoot a pair. Put one down. Nice soft touch gives a good roll like that. Yeah, beautiful form. See if he can. Add the second. Don't know what's going on right now. Well, they didn't want him to be in before the shot. But now, if he makes the shot, they want him to be in. And you send him to check out. Now I'm sure they're going to hold for one. I would be shocked. That would be most logical. That's a foul. The blocking foul. On Alex Matthews. Definitely agree with that. Not really a bad foul. They still have another one to give if they want. Without putting Lenape on the line, or without putting Cherokee on the line. Prevent an open shot, make it a little more difficult. Garo, no good, and that's going to end the half right there. Well, for your first half, you have Lenape with 20 and Cherokee with 14. Low Again. scoring game, 34 points in the first half combined. It's very low scoring. Definitely agree with you on that. Uh, both teams have to shoot the ball better in the second half. I don't think there's any question about that. Especially Cherokee, they're just not knocked, they're just not shooting well at all this evening. We definitely agree with that. So as the teams head to their respective locker rooms. Let's take a look at Ivy Rehab Repay, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. That's this the is air the ball, ball that Gibson that. ends up getting and laying it in on a reverse mm -hmm. layup. Good hustle, good position. And for your first half score, Lenape 20, Cherokee 14. And we will be right back with the second half of tonight's game. 
Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah. For care that's extraordinary, demand Deborah.org. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888 313 IDEA or ComegnoLaw.com. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market. All the best. All right here, 215-336-3003, or on the web at www.pwpm.net. And by Heads Up, Eyes Forward, please never drive distracted, www.lrhsd.org slash heads up. For information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, Contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. Sometimes kids just don't see it. Steroids can ruin bones, tendons, organs, and dreams. Talk to your kids about the dangers of steroids. Visit drugfree.org. And welcome back to Cherokee. And welcome back to Letterby High School for the second half of tonight's basketball game between. Lenape Indians and Cherokee Chiefs. Current score is Lenape 20, Cherokee with 14. It is now time for the Axa Equitable Sideline Report, providing millions of customers with life insurance, annuities, and other need based products since 1859. Axa Equitable, be life confident. 732 452 7275. And now let's send it over to Alex Chikatowski with the report. Hey guys, so I talked to both coaches during the half. Cherokee just needs to make their shots. I mean, not just not Bennett, I mean everyone. And talking at Lenape, offensively, just remain patient and give the Sims as much as you can. Defensively, things seem to be working. Just keep shoving, covering and putting all the pressure. Should be good. Back to you guys. Great. Thanks, Alex. We got another way with the second half. Alex hit the nail right on the head, which is making some shots. Cherokee bringing it up. Shot by Gibson. Couldn't get that one. Cherokee's really struggling right now, trying to get the ball in the basket. Steven Malek for three. Couldn't get that. Cherokee only has two players that have scored points at all, Gibson and Tamir Bennett. Yeah, outside of those two, other guys really have to step up if they're going to want to close the gap here. Way to keep the ball alive, offensive rebound, and Gavin Gibson puts back the, bu the bucket. Another two for Andrew Sims. Easy one for him. He now has 15 on the evening. Ludwikowski for three. And a timeout for Cherokee. The head coach is really getting fired up right now. Trying to get his team back in it. They're currently down by five. Again, looking into the huddle of the Lenape Indians. Let's take a look at Ivy Rehab Replay, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy, on the web at ivyrehab.com. Here's the long pass by Matt Ingersoll for Andrew Sims. So he goes right over Bennett. Caught the uh, defense napping, so to speak. But Cherokee came back and answered nicely right after that with a bucket by uh, Gavin Gibson and then three-pointer by Tyler Ludwikowski. 
Now we'll back see. down to five now. We'll see how Lenape counteracts. Caro. This is. First team foul of the half, second personal foul on Anthony. Non-shooting foul, Lenape will inbound under their own offensive basket. Pass it out to Jake Topolsky. At the Sims. That's an offensive foul, absolutely. Nice job drawing the charge. Here's Terry, you bring it up. Chance for the Chiefs to get it to a one possession game here, Ethan. Yeah, we'll see what they do. Double team on Bennett, a front and a rear. Really, him and Gibson are the only ones that are really bringing it tonight. Oh, in and out. In and out by Bennett. Ball. Three ball. Here's a three by Sims. So dangerous when you let him open like that. What a weapon to have somebody of that size that can drive the ball, rebound it, and also shoot the three. Especially when he's been been down low almost the whole night. It really catches the defense off. And there's an offensive, offensive foul, foul on Tymir Bennett. Real good defense by Sims, held his position. Took a way to force the turnover. Second team foul on the Chiefs. Third personal foul on Tymir Bennett. See if Coach Cassidy with five minutes to go in the third gets him out of there. See if Lenape tries to get it into Sims to try to draw that fourth foul on Tymir Bennett. Yeah, if they can get that, that'll keep him, that'll keep Bennett out for a while. Nice defense by Bennett. They were looking for that bounce pass, bounce entry pass. Tymir did a nice job. Did the well denying that one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow nice Topolsky. little English there by Topolsky. Gonna get the basket and one. That was on DeCaro, that'll be his third. So now both Tymir Bennett and Anthony DeCaro have three fouls. Polsky's a real big athlete, able to fight through the contact and get that one in. Football player, right? Defensive and, back, and, if I remember. And baseball. And baseball. Three sport athletes. You don't yep. see him as much as you used to, Ethan. What's special about him at sophomore year, he was starting varsity on all three. So he's a real good athlete. Couldn't get that one in. I wonder if he golfs. Oh, I'm sorry. Eleven point lead, largest of the game now for the Indians. Yeah, they're starting to pull away now. Now like nice get that one. Good Great offensive rebound. rebound. Good They'll take another three. Oh, in and out again. Good rebound by Tymir Bennett. Again, just shots that wouldn't fall. Three, didn't get that one in either. Offensive rebound. Gibson again with another offensive rebound and put back. That's two offensive rebound and put back in this half. And remember, he made the great play on the air ball in the reverse layup earlier in the first he half. He did. He has been really picking up the garbage and turning it into gold tonight. And dribbling it out. Yeah. 
That's a travel. Travel, yep. That's a timeout called by Coach Guitar. I don't think Coach Guitar was happy with that last offensive possession. No, Cherokee played it real well. Forcing the turnover. Assistant coach Distal there for Cherokee having a little conversation with the official. Let's take a look at Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab does go therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. And here's the offensive putback from Gibson. Let's see DeCaro here. Kicks it out. Three pointer is missed. Nobody boxes him out. Nobody boxes Gibson and makes a nice play and turns with the left hand and. Yep, very easy. Lays it in. Good hustle. Here's Cherokee bringing it up. Now my nine at the moment. Let's see what they do. Kicks out to Gibson. I'm gonna get Ingersoll Ingersoll. for the foul there. Yep. And juniors Justin Luke and Alex Matthews will check back in. That'll be Ingersoll's third. Coach Guitar takes him out. Jump shot. Good. The time here, Bennett. Bennett said a nice screen. Guitar went around it. Defender left Bennett alone. Pass came to him and he knocked down the jumper. Two on one for Sims. Oh, and blocked by number 14, Richard Laird. Big block for Laird. Comes Zach Morgan. In for Laird. Three by Bruno. Couldn't get that one. Now Cherokee with the momentum, if they can score, that'll be great for them. They try and close this lead, currently down by seven. Another jump shot. Time your bed in again. Gets the bounce. Now they're already down by five. Cuts the lead to five, and now they press a little bit. Matlack beats the press. Oh, but now DeCarlo strips it. And that's going to be a foul. It'll be a foul on Morgan. Let's take a look at Ivy Rehab Replay, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy, on the web at ivyrehab.com. Here's the block earlier. Two on one. Dished off to Bruno, and great, great, great defense by Laird. Under a minute and a half, remaining quarter number three. Chiefs have sliced the deficit, which was once 11, down to five. But need a defensive stand here. Let's see what Lenape can do. Let's see if they can extend this. Or keep, it, or keep the momentum for Cherokee. Open three, in and out. A lot of those tonight, in and out, you know. Again, the opportunity for the Chiefs to cut it to a one possession game. Here's Gibson, Gibson makes it happen. Close as the Chiefs have been since early in this contest, and it's now 30 to 27. Again, the trap here on this side. Oh, that looked like a walk. Sims. Andrew Sims. Great pass. Oh, Easy good, look, good pass. Good finish by Alex Matthews. Timeout by Lenape.
Ending the eight point run by the Chiefs. They were down 30 to 19, scored eight in a row to make it 30 27. That's a big basket coming back for the Indians as we look into the Cherokee huddle led by Coach Cassidy. Let's take a look at Ivy Rehab Replay, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. There's the Gavin screen Gibson and the roll. With a great drive and goes under, keep using his body to protect the ball. A little bit of English on the shot, kisses it off the glass for a basket. Cherokee will inbound the ball. 12 for Gibson tonight. See what they'll try and do, maybe hold it for the, looks like they're gonna hold it for the last shot. Very deep three, in and out again. Well played, the Lenape defense. That's at the end of the third, it is currently Lenape 32, Cherokee 27. There you have your score at the end of the third quarter. Lenape 32, Cherokee 27. Still a low scoring game. A lot of in and outs, a lot of missed shots. We'll see what happens in the fourth quarter. Maybe somebody can get the ball rolling. Either Cherokee take the lead or Lenape stick with it. Lenape once led as much by 11, not so much anymore. This Cherokee has got some shots to fall in, and now we're only down by three. And here we go, fourth quarter. See him, I like with the walk. A lot of walks tonight too, more than normal typical high school game. And let's see what Jerry can, can do on the first possession, the fourth. Jump shot, in and out again. First time I've seen Cherokee where uh, Anthony Dakar has not scored through three quarters. Yeah, only three Cherokee players have contributed to their points so far. Oh, nice fake. And then shoots an air ball. Yeah, not good for Steven Medlock right now. That's a foul on Topolsky. Blocking foul. Matt Ingersoll will check in for Justin Luke. First personal foul. Third team foul on the Indians this half. Looks like the referee is giving Chuck Attar a talk right now. Guitar not happy.
And Cherokee will inbound the ball. Blocked off the backboard by Andrew Sims. Great defense for Sims. They hustle for the loose ball. Jump ball, possession arrow for the Chiefs. on Zach Morgan. Third personal. Ball go right back to Lenape. Cherokee's looking to press. And right back to Cherokee. After the push off by Steven Matlack. Offensive foul on Matlack. The second of the ball game. Rebound going, but the offensive rebound. And that Hits one will go. Follow up. The time here, Bennett. Feed it to Sims out on the perimeter. Back to the Polski. by Cherokee is they kept it out on the perimeter the entire time. Another kick out. Steve Malek for three. Can't get it to roll ball. off the nice. rim. Andrew Sims keeps it alive and tips it to the Polsky who finishes. Sims with the block. Matlack running the floor. Gonna be a block. Great defense by Andrew Sims. Another block off the backboard. Leads to the fast break and the foul on Ludwikowski, his first. 16 foul for the Indians, or for the Chiefs, so that'll mean they're in the bonus next time. Steve Malik will go to the line to shoot a pair. That would be currently up by five. Look at that one. Malik gets that one down. And if he's got it up by six now. About 523 left in the game. Oh Another get foul on the block. That'll be his fourth. <laughs> yeah, if he gets one more and he'll be gone. Moving it around. Screen by Bennett. Another screen by Bennett. Misses the jumper. Matlack, solid rebound and a foul on, I believe they're going to get Morgan, and that will be number seven, which will mean bonus. Not a good time to have that now with plenty of time still left. Put Matlack on the line. One and one. If he makes the first, he'll get the second. Right. 
Okay. Gets that one. Puts the lead back up to seven now for Lenape. Chance to make it eight for Matt Lack. Matt goes two for two that time. Eight point lead for Lenape now. Nice entry pass to Tymere Bennett. 17 for Bennett. 28 of the Chiefs points are by either Gibson or Bennett. Yeah, not good for the rest of the team is you should be worrying about five players instead of two. Sims trying to establish position down low. Bennett doing a nice job on him down there without committing a foul. Oh, and there's the turnover. Matlack got himself in a little too deep and really didn't have anywhere to go with it. Tried to get it back out to Bruno, but wasn't able to do so. Yeah, we'll see what Cherokee does with... Under four minutes now remaining. Long range three, and, and still DeCaro is, DeCaro is scored. Score lift. And that's going to be a foul. Slapped away, and I think that's going to be on DeCaro. Should put the pulse get the line. And that'll be DeCaro's fourth now. I don't know if you can bring him out with 340 to go. Yeah, you really need to get somebody else going other than... And he's their ball handler, too. He's the man that the offense goes through for the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. Topolsky at the line to shoot, too. Topolsky gets one. Makes the first one. And then it'll be up by seven. And eight. Knocked out of bounds. Yeah, I think they said Sims knocked it out. Coach Cassidy looking for a foul on that. No shot, foul on the floor. Chapolsky, his second personal foul. That is the sixth team foul on the Indians, so now that'll put the Chiefs in the bonus on the next foul for Lenape against them. Oh, they're going to get Sims with the body. Clearly the fans don't like that. Problem is he went. Problem is he did go straight up, but he kind of arched into him, mm -hmm. and they'll call that every time. Yep. Samir Bennett goes to the line to shoot a pair. In and out on the first. One for four for Tymere Bennett from the foul free throw line tonight. Yeah, not good. And one for five. It's really, really not good. He's the only Chief that has shot free throws tonight. Yeah, Chiefs have been really limited on offense. We approach the three minute mark remaining in the fourth quarter. Coach Cassie looking for a carry on that one. No call from the referee. Keep the ball. Good ball movement by the Indians. Trying to spring somebody open. Oh, nice move by Topolsky. Open Wide look open for three. Matlack. And he knocks it down. Well, he struggled a little bit shooting in this half, but that's a huge three-pointer there for Steve Matlack. Increases the Lenape lead to nine. Great ball movement. Finally found the open player. 
And they're going to get Matlack at the other end for a foul, and that will put Cherokee on the line. Matlack, third personal. Both teams now in the bonus. Richard Laird, number 14, steps to the line. He'll shoot one and one. If he makes the first, he'll get the second. Can't get it to go. Chiefs have really not been good from the free. Chiefs have not been good shooting the ball at all, whether no, it's free not, throws not or, at all. or field goals. It's been a tough shooting night for Cherokee. Yeah, one of the keys earlier for Lenape was defense, and they're really getting out. I mean, there's no defense on free throws. One out of six is yeah, that's, not what Coach Cassidy is That's unacceptable. For. Sims drives it, and that'll bring the crowd to its feet. Andrew Sims with a very... <laughs> Nice exclamation point on what's been a great evening for him. Puts the Indians up by 13 with a minute and 40 to go. That's putting a little uh, cherry on the top of the ice, ice that cream is. Sunday. Bennett for three, no good. Ball is knocked out of bounds by Cherokee. Minute 27 left. Foul. Foul's going to be called on, I believe it's going to be Laird. That'll be free throws for Lenape. First personal on Laird. Of course, they're in the bonus. And that's going to put Ingersoll at the line. Shooting one and one. Next foul will be double bonus. Because that'll make 10. 10 fouls and a half, and you shoot two. And he knocks the first one down for his first point of the evening. Biggest lead of the game for the Indians now at 14 with a minute and 28 to go. Yeah, they're starting and to pull away now. Makes them both. Now you just play good defense, don't foul. No fouls here to your Lenape. Long range three by Ludwikowski. Gibson tries a three, nothing going now for Cherokee. And there's the foul on Laird, and that'll be double bonus. He's gonna send Negrosol to the line for two because that'll be their 10th team foul. Well, we, you know, we go back as they were getting ready to shoot the free throws, Ethan, you talked in the beginning about defense. Lenape certainly put on a great defensive show, helped out by the fact that Cherokee did not shoot well this evening. Yeah, not at all. We don't keep field goal percentages, but my guess would be... It's got to be under 10%. Yeah. I do know that Matt Ingersoll is 100% from the free throw line. Four out of four here in this half. And again, just no foul here if you're Lenape playing defense. And there's a block by Sims. Ball rolls loose, saved. Good job by Andrew Sims not to commit the foul. DeCaro finally on the board with under a minute to go. Another go up by 15. With under a minute left. 30 second, uh, full timeout. Let's take a look at Ivy Rehab Replay. Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy at the web at ivyrehab.com. Could it be? Could it be? Watch the move here. Great move on Bennett. Goes the other way and what a finishes it off with the dunk. Andrew Sims, 20 points tonight. And a real dominant performance. Couple of blocks, couple of big rebounds. Real dominant performance on both he's ends. Been, uh, he's been all that and then some. Chiefs will have to regroup. They'll have another game, uh, probably tournament games next week. I didn't look at their future schedule, but this is two 
tough losses this week, you know, against quality opponents, obviously, but everybody you play in the American division of the Olympic Conference is tough. But I'm sure Coach Cassidy will get the boys, uh, you know, practice tomorrow, um, get them ready, and, and they'll be back. This is early in the season. It's a long season. It's only three games in. Fifty seconds left. Some substitutions for both squads now. Uthman Bruce, Devin Wooding, Frank Gallagher, Justin Luke. All in the game for Lenape. Then if he looks to close this one out, most likely holding it for the last shot. Coach Guitar likes the ball movement. Yeah, not to force any turnover. That'll be it. I don't even have to make a play now. No, not at all. One more pass, and the five he broke the five, and that's going to be it. Your final score here, Lenape 48, Cherokee 33. Well, you know, Ethan, they cut the lead down to five at the end of three quarters, and Lenape came out and outscored him 16-6 in the fourth, which results in the 15-point victory. A couple of tough losses for the Chiefs this week, but they will rebound, I guarantee you that. Coach Cassidy and his staff some of the finest coaches in South Jersey. They'll have the Chiefs ready to play in the tournament and when they resume their regular season schedule after the break. Take a look at the players shaking hands, wishing each other well. Good game, good game, good game. And there's your final score, Cherokee 33 and Lenape 48. Lenape advances to 2-0, while Cherokee 1-2. Cherokee, you started the week the third-ranked team in South Jersey, obviously going to fall a little bit. We're going to go to a break now, and we will be back with our play and player of tonight's game. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888-313-IDEA or comegnolaw.com. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market. All the best, all right here. 215-336-3003 or on the web at www.pwpm.net. And by Heads Up, Eyes Forward. Please never drive distracted. www.lrhsd.org slash heads up. For information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. And welcome back as Lenape just ended the game with a 15-point win. Great game by Lenape. Hopefully uh, a game where, you know, things can be put into notice for Cherokee, things that they can fix. And, you know, it is early in the season. Um, let's hope uh, Cherokee can get back to their good, good playing and you know, we'll see what happens in the future. It is now time for the Reconstructive Orthopedics Player of the Game, 
Recon or on the web at www.reconstructiveortho.com. Let's send it down to Alex Chukatowski standing by for the interview. Hey guys, I'm here with the player of the game, Let Up Andrew Sims with 20 points in the night. Andrew, what was this electrifying night like, especially your dunk in the fourth quarter? Um, it's a great atmosphere, especially not for being a playoff game. Um, we just got to move on though, it's one game, uh, one game at a time, momentum builder, we'll be good. What's this rivalry like with Cherokee High School? Um, it's great. Um, every, every game we know when we play them, it's going to be a great game coming down to the wire. Um, you know, we're always going back and forth, doesn't matter who they have, who we have. It's always going to be a great game. And do you have any plans after high school to play basketball? Um, right now, yes. I have a couple offers. Um, still taking it one day at a time, seeing what happens. All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, so you see the um, fans kind of settling out or leaving. Fans kind of leaving here as students getting ready tomorrow for a half day and then a break. It is now time to take a look at the All-State Good Hands play of the game. It's brought to you by Michael McDyer, 609-654-161426 or Michael McDyer at allstate.com. Allstate, you're in good hands. Let's see what our play is tonight, Ethan. A lot of choices, a lot of choices. One of the leading scorers for Cherokee tonight, Gavin Gibson, who did a nice job and a great play there, shielding the defender with his body and getting the left right hand layup with a little spin and getting the kiss off the glass and in. Definitely agree with you on that. Solid that was a good play. play. The sophomore. As we look at the fans here, getting ready for our break. Coming up for all of us at Lenape District. Half day tomorrow, and then uh, get some time off. Get rejuvenated if you're a teacher. Enjoy yourself if you're a student. Tell us about productions, Ethan. LDTV sports products are available online at youtube.com slash Lenape District TV and for purchase at www.lrhsd.org slash LDTV copies. And our next and our next LDTV game will be girls basketball, Seneca and at Shawnee. All right, and before we sign off tonight, we'd like to thank our crew, Spencer Fodi, Dorian Fields, Alex Chiamin Chiamino, Bianca Delvacchio, Hannah O'Hare, Matt Wigley, Nippon Pele, of course our sideline reporter, what a great job by Alex Chukatowski, Scott Glossner here, Ethan Hartley on the play-by-play -play did a fabulous job. Your final score from Lenape High School tonight, the Lenape Indians 48, the Cherokee Chiefs 33. We wish everybody a happy break, a happy holiday, happy new year, and we'll see you back here on LDTV in 2018.
you have a plan to increase security in places like that? The district has up-to-date and well-tested emergency response plans.